Inside the small sized cave we find Vincent Wesonga Mapesa. His working tools strewn all over the space, some old disused utensils at a corner. This is what he calls home. The cave is surrounded by napier grass, amazing sugarcane plantation. He says he's lucky even during floods that the waters have never disrupted his life. Famously known as Major White, Vincent Wesonga Mapesa, who has two grown children, lives alone while his two children and their mother live elsewhere. To reduce any possibility of water seeping through, he dug a 3.5 meters deep tunnel that channels water to divert water from his house. This cave has four corners with no window, but it has a makeshift door. He uses a black nylon paper during night. He sleeps on a bed made of mud. The talented man engages in sculpturing for a living. Even though he owns a large piece of land, he says he will not abandon the cave. Regardless of the dire circumstances that he exposes himself to, the caveman insists that the raw materials that he would need to build his dream house are only available abroad. From there, uh, now they stopped me, paid me, paid me, and now I continue working without any pay. That is uh, the problem affected my home. Number two, uh -huh. uh, there was a, a wild animal attack. That's why he will not be moving anytime soon. The Older Persons Cash Transfer Program, or PCT, was initiated in 2007. The program focuses on providing cash transfers to poor households who have at least one member above the age of 65 years. Nambale, Member of Parliament Sakwa Bunyasi, wants the issuance of the cash for the old people streamlined to benefit all elderly persons across the country, such as Mapesa. The Jubilee government promised in their manifesto, I know NASA did the same thing, but the Jubilee government in power now promised that everybody over 70 will be eligible for the social support program that they now provide. Uh, it's a token, but it's a very important token. Uh, I think the priority now would be on expanding the base so that all eligible persons are included uh, even before the increase of the rate. If both could be done at the same time, it would be good. But uh, I think the urgent thing uh, would be to expand the base, let everybody who is 70 and above, as has been now stated, and is in need, uh, be included. Uh, in respect of housing particularly, um, the, uh, the, the deterioration of the environment where uh, getting thatching materials like grass and so on uh, is now difficult because land sizes are, are diminishing. Uh, there is no community policy that would be able to protect common grazing areas because all lands belong to individuals and it's an individual sacrifice if you wanted to protect a particular area and even if they did uh, then it would be charged for because there is an opportunity cost uh, for leaving areas to nature uh, so that people can be able to harvest grasses for thatching and so on. And I have a case uh, in my own constituency, Mr. Mapesa, who lives somewhere between Nambale and, uh, and Huirade, but whose life, Mr. Mapesa has created an underground residence. And he has had this for maybe as long as I have known about this, at least 10 years, no, more than 10 years. Uh, in 2006, when I entered politics, uh, I knew of, of him, I know his family, uh, but that's a, a lifestyle choice. Uh, he's somebody who has access to property, he could live a different style, but he chose that style. I Nambale residents are always mesmerized by Mapesa's lifestyle, while those who wish to visit must seek permission from security personnel. 